Yo, what's up guys? So today's topic is what is a social media influencer? Now, love them, hate them, don't even recognize them. Well, get used to it because these guys are here to stay and they are gonna be here for a long time. Welcome back guys, and if you're new to the channel, my name is Sam, I'm the co-founder and CEO here at So Squared. So let's get into it. What is a social media influencer? And first, we need to define what the term influence actually means. So I'm gonna take a passage from the Oxford Dictionary here. Influence is the capacity to have an effect on the character, development, or behavior of someone, something, or an effect itself. And therefore, an influencer is somebody who possesses these characteristics. Now, let me just make a point. An influencer is not a new phenomenon. These guys have been around since the birth of Christ. Yep, that's right. Man like Jesus was an influencer in his own right. You also got people like Julius Caesar, Michelangelo, Rosa Park, Van Gogh, all of these people were influencers in their own time period. Now, I know you're gonna say to me, but Sam, these guys were all famous. Okay, so let's just roll it back to a, a local level. Within a local community, you have influencers. This might be the mayor, uh, a local business person, leader of a parish council, or could have just been a well-known individual. The difference is in the 21st century, Everything's been moved into the digital world, and there we have the social media influencer. As a society, we consume all of our media, our news, and opinions through these little handheld devices called phones. Platforms like Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, and Twitter have become the stadium in which people can have a voice and influence other people. That's if they can get anybody to actually listen to them. Social media influencers range from nano influencers with just a few thousand followers on a single platform to micro and mega influencers that can sometimes boast millions of followers. What they all share though is an audience and that audience can just follow them generically. This is typically seen in the fashion space with fashion influencers and your more typical social media influencer or the influencer might have a specific topic that they are an expert of. Think cooking, fitness, even breath work and cold water therapy. Great place just to segment off for a second here, guys. If you're enjoying the content that we're pushing out, hit that like button and also hit subscribe. And if you wanna stay up to date of when we release new videos, hit the bell icon and you'll get push notifications. So why are these social media influencers so important to companies, especially relating to things like sales and marketing strategy? The answer is really simple. Ever heard of word of mouth marketing? Well, let's have a quick recap just in case you've forgotten. Word of mouth marketing, or sometimes described as WOM, is when a consumer's interest in a product or service appears in their daily dialogue. So effectively what they're doing is they're continually talking about your product and services to people around them and effectively recommending it. This is a great form of social proof. Social proof is everywhere in society and as a consumer, we make so many decisions based on this. Basically, in plain English, one person tells all their mates to buy something, they all go and buy it. The big benefit of word of mouth marketing is it just doesn't cost a penny. These are consumers that have bought your product already that then become advocates. The downside to word of mouth marketing is it's completely out of your control. You cannot control who advocates for your product and who doesn't advocate your product, and you also can't control the message that they're sending out. This can be a bit tricky for some brands and also for some other services as well. Social media influencers effectively take traditional word of mouth marketing and just distribute it across their social media platforms, thus reaching a wider audience in a more efficient and effective way. The trade-off here is that companies and brands actually pay for influencer marketing. Now, there is no guarantee that influencer marketing will lead to new customers. In fact, there's no guarantee that any marketing will lead to new customers. 
The benefit of influencer marketing and using a social media influencer means that you can guarantee that your message will be delivered to an audience in a way that you see fit. So unlike word of mouth marketing where you have no control over the message and you generally don't even have control whether anyone's gonna be an advocate for you or not, social media influencers, you can give them a brief, you can ask for deliverables and you can control the content that is going out. So some really interesting stats around influencer marketing and using social media influencers. So 49% of consumers rely on an influencer's recommendation to purchase a product, while 82% of people trust social networks when guiding a purchasing decision. These are pretty incredible stats. And interestingly, according to Digital Marketing Institute, more than 42% of Americans have ad blocking technology. When you think about your marketing strategy and you look at using ads versus using user generated content and influencers, in the US, 42% of people are blocking these paid ads. So using influencer marketing really gets your message out there and kind of works its way through any ad blocking technology, which just adds to the amount of value that influencers can bring to your company. A quote here from Influencer Marketing Hub, consumers prefer influencer generated content over branded product content. 60% of marketers shared that influencer generated content performs better and drives more engagement compared to branded posts. Again, another really strong fact that supports why influencer generated content or what we call UGC for user generated content and influencer marketing is the way to really reach your customer base. So this is so squared's opinion on using influencers as part of your marketing strategy. So call us bias, but influencers is one of the best way, if not the best way to get your product in front of a specific audience. However, you need to be careful and you also need to be very savvy. There are many opportunities for you to trip up and end up with pretty disappointing results. When using influencers, there's pretty much two main ways that you can engage with them. You can either do traditional influencer marketing, which is when the influencer will post your product or service on their pages. This tends to be more expensive. However, you are getting the reach and the audience that that influencer already has or you use user-generated content. You get the creators to create the content for you without having to actually post it onto their socials. Now, the reason brands are doing this is because some content creators are so good, but yet they don't have a big following. So you can get them at a much cheaper price. They create this amazing content, and then you can pay for this content to reach a specific audience using targeted ads, such as through Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, or whatever else you wanna do. I'll do another blog on user-generated content and dive a little bit more deeper into this as to why this is so good. But if we look at the traditional way of using influencers where they post it onto your grid, the first thing you really need to do is understand your product. And when I say understand your product, I mean really understand your product and what your target market is. After that, you can look to identify the right influencer and look at the right sort of content that's gonna be most engaging to your customer. We've actually done a five steps to influencer marketing guide. If you visit our website, sosquared.com, you'll be able to download this from there. So with influencer marketing expected to reach $16.4 billion this year, and with no sign of slowing down at all, now is the time to prepare yourself to be right involved with this is your main marketing strategy. The use of social media influencer and the growth that they can give to a business is absolutely undeniable. With 93% of brands using influencers now and incredibly strong data that suggests that brands will be allocating more of their marketing budget towards user-generated content and influencer marketing, now more than ever is the right time to set yourselves up to be completing more successful influencer collaborations. The SoSquared platform is helping brands and creators connect in a more meaningful way. We allow them to identify each other, communicate efficiently, and also manage the process end-to-end -end, all through our simple and easy to use platform. Our purpose-built software takes care of all the boring tasks so that you guys, the brand and the creators can focus more on just producing the most amazing and engaging content for your target market. If you wanna find out more about how here at SoSquared we can help you grow and scale your influence marketing strategy, drop us an email at info at Until next time, guys, catch you in a bit.